Hello everyone, how is it going on? This is Akhtar. Today we are going to build this digital clock using pure JavaScript. So without further ado, let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel so that you can get all the updates. First of all, we will create the project folder. We can create it in our desktop. So let's name it digital clock. Now we can open this folder using our code editor. I will use Visual Studio Code. You can use your own code editor. Let's open the folder from, from the desktop. Now here we will create a HTML file. Now we can name it index.html. Here let's put the HTML boilerplate code using the shortcut of VS code. Here we can change the title to digital clock. Now in the body we will add a division with the class name clock and we will use a ID here also clock and in the division we will put a placeholder hours, minutes and seconds. Now we need just two line two lines of CSS to, so we don't need a external CSS file to design it. We can do it here on the head tag. So let's write style uh, style tag one for the body. In the body, we will uh, provide a height of 100 VAs. So it will take the full height of the screen and we will make it display flex so that we can align everything uh, vertically centered. So display flex, align item center. Also justify content center so that it is centered horizontally also. Now we will use the font family Arial Sans shape. Okay. Let's also use the background color. So I have already copied it in my clipboard. You can use other color here if you want. You can play around with it. Now let's add a margin zero so that there is no margin. And the color white. Now let's put some style for the clock. First of all, we will use a font size. Uh, 5 RAM. RAM is a measurement unit in CSS, which means, which, which means root EM. We'll give it a font width, bold, color 333, three, three, so that it is clearly visible on the body background. Then we will add some spacing, padding 20 pixel. We will also add a border radius, 10 pixel. Let's also add a box shadow, 0 pixel, 4 pixel, 8 pixel. 0, 4 pixel, 8 pixel RCBA, 0, 0, 0, 0.3. So it will add a nice smooth box shadow or a shadow on the box. Now let's have a quick look on how it looks so far. 
so this is our clock so far now we'll have to add the necessary javascript so that we can make it work so let's do it let's get back to our code editor and let's create a new javascript file here name is script.js and now let's include this javascript file on our html file so we can do it we'll have to do it uh, right above the closing body deck so let's do it script and the source will be script.js now we can write our javascript code here we will write all our javascript code in a function so let's define a function first and the name of the function will be update clock here the first thing we will have to do is the grab the id of the section of the clock so i will grab this id using the get element by id so let's declare a variable using const so the name of the variable will be clock equals to documents document dot get element by id here the id will be clock now there is a building class in javascript to get the current time information so we will create another variable here name now and we'll create an instance of the date of class so this new date will provide us the information about the, about the current time now you can get the hours minutes and seconds from this using this variable or object so we can declare some variables using let the first one will be hours equals to now dot get sorry get hours and then minutes let minutes equals to now dot get minutes and thirdly we need seconds dot get seconds now we'll have to update the clock element with these variables or information so let's copy the clock element and here we'll do it using a property called text content because to here we will use javascript literals and let's copy these variables here hours colon minutes colon and lastly seconds as these are variables we will have to use curly brace with the dollar sign let's do it for is okay now now we will have to call this function the update clock it will still not work because we will have to show the clock continuously on the display screen so that it updates in every second to do that we will have to use a function called set interval and here the first argument will be the function name update clock let's copy it let's put it here as the first argument and the second argument will be the seconds so in this case it will be 1000 millisecond which means one second so this function will be called in every one second now if you check on our browser let's refresh so we see it is updating in every second we can see it is updating but as you see here on the seconds it is showing just once one digit which is not looking very good so we will have to make these two digits to do that we can add some codes here we can use ternary operator for that so ours equals to if ours less than 10 
then we will add a zero before the hour plus hours and if it is greater than 10 then it will be just the hours there is no need to add any zero then for the minutes and seconds we can copy this two times okay now if you check again you see it's added at zero before the seconds all right now it's on 24 formats we'll have to make it 12 hour format we can do that using adding some extra codes so let's do it we'll declare another variable using let and the variable name will be period the default period will be m Now we'll have to convert the 24 hour formats into 12 hour formats to do that you can use a if statement so whenever the hours is greater than 12 the period will be changed to pm this period will be pm and also we'll have to use a ternary operator hours equals to hours hours if hours is greater than 12 then we will minus 12 from the hours so that it is 12 hour format and if hours is less than 12 then we will just keep the hours we will not change it now we will have to consider the midnight and noon so however it is 12 am or pm it will be zero because we will minus 12 from the hours in that case we will have to use another ternary operators so hours equals to hours equals to zero however hours is equals to zero it will be 12 and if not zero then it will be we will keep it hours yeah that's it now if we check on our browser it should be changed to 12 hour format but yeah we'll have to add the period at the end so let's do it so here we can add the period so let's copy it and let's put it here again it is as it is a variable we'll have to use the curly brace with the dollar sign now it should work fine so you see it shows 10 pm and on my clock as you see it is 10 14 pm now what you can do is we we can add some comments on our code so that the code is self-explanatory so here for example for this one we can add get current time let's remove the space from here and for this piece of code we can write convert to 12 hours format and for this one we can write set hours to 12 for midnight and noon and for this one we can write formats hours minutes and seconds so that it always have two digits we can write update the clock display as you know it updates the display of the clock and for this one we can write clock the function once and for this one we can write update the clock every second i hope it will explain the code must let's save it and let's make sure everything is fine the clock works great 
so that was it please let me know in the comments if you have any question also give it a thumb if you like my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you